Hey everybody, it is Dilbsy, and I am sweating because I've just finished cleaning my condo. And while I'm waiting for certain things to finish cleaning, I figured now's a good time to do another Living Dead Doll Show and Tell vlog. But this time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to show all three of the Living Dead Dolls Lost in Oz series. I only got three of the five because I only like three of the five. And you'll get to see which five I chose. <laughs> I mean, which three, not five. I mean, I do like all of them, but I'm not rich, and no one gifts me these, really. Considering out of all the dolls I have, only six have been gifted to me. I've bought every single other one myself. So, yeah. I'm not one of you lucky people that has a sugar daddy or sugar mama that can buy you dolls. That's why my videos are so low budget, you see. I don't make up a theme song or anything like that. I'm just dilty. But anyway, so I'm doing something different. I'm showing three of the five all in one shot because I really don't need to do three separate videos when there's no death certificate for these. So the first one, in no real order of appearance, is Walpurgis as the witch. I've already taken her out because I was recording this and then somehow it stopped. So I had to start over. So here she is in all her evil witchy glory. Ooh, look at that face. Ooh, what a witch. So I don't have in any original Walpurgis, and pardon me for how I'm pronouncing it, I am not German, so I don't know the correct pronunciation, nor do I have the time to look it up. But I really love her dress. I like the lace on the arms, and then she's got the witchy, sharp fingers. You see that? And then she's got the boots, the boots. She's got the boots on, you see. Okay, I'm sorry. I won't use an accent. Like, look at me. <laughs> I will kill you. I'll get you, my pretty. And your little dog, too. Okay. I'm not really that huge a fan of The Wizard of Oz. Sure, I've watched it many times as a child, but I'm not obsessed with it. So I wasn't even going to get any of these from the series. But then... The one that I'm saving to show last is the one that won me over. But these are the three of them uh, that I like the best, so I bought them. I didn't get the whole set, as I've said 50 billion times already. So yes, so she's got the cool black dress. I love this. So she's awesome. I will just hold her here. No, I won't because she'll probably fall. So yeah, so while purchased, the witch is the first one I got. Actually, she's not, I bought all three at the same time. So that's a lot. Actually, not a lie, because I just realized the one I did buy first, I bought in a different store, and she's the one I'm going to show last. She or he or it. I don't know what the hell. So enough of that. You go there, Walter. Just, I shall put her back in her box, because I don't want her getting dirty. I've got Gavin, so I don't want his fur getting all over the dollies. So, that was the first one. I'm sorry, this is kind of like an unboxing in a sense, or reboxing. Oh Jesus, as I drop all purchase. Anyone wants to buy these off of me one day, you're gonna be like, I saw when you dropped that out of the box. I don't want it, I want a discount. Shit, we're gonna have a cat companion in a second. Because nosy kitty needs to see what mommy's doing. Yes, I gave birth, I gave birth to my cat, yeah. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show everyone. Let me blow my nose for a second. Can you see the box in the back? I didn't even show that. So that's a good thing I stopped to blow my nose, because you see how it is? That looks pretty freaking cool, eh? Eh? And then it has the wizard on one side and on the other side. Okay, so the next one is Purdy as the Scarecrow. So, I love this one because of the scarecrow face, which I will show you how awesome is this. Like, how utterly creepy is that? You see, that's why I liked this one. I was like, I've got to get that one too, because it's awesome. And I love the straw coming out of the sleeves and uh, the boots in the back. It can come on and off, and wearing a, you 
know, an outfit that you'd wear when you're in the farm. But the best part, when we remove this, you get... Ah! It's purdy with no head. She ain't got a brain, that's why she's a scarecrow. If I only had a brain, do 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 do. I should set Purdy up with is it Isaac or Ivan? I I don't know, but I've got the the scarecrow doll too, which you know. Blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I know I'm not doing this again, so that's why I'm leaving in all my bleeds and all that crap. Okay, so this is Purdy. Oops, and she's shedding. I just vacuum for fuck's sake. This kind of reminds me, I'm reading Lock and Key right now, the series of comics with Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez, and this is reminding me of it because of the head key, and they can take things out of their brain. So if I ever did, you know, if I ever decided to make my own dolls, well, not make my own dolls, but whatever. Who gives a fuck what I'm trying to say? That's purdy as a scarecrow. So I will fix this later. On to the last one, because I'm also looking at the time, and I don't want my videos to be way too long. So the last one shall be... This is the one that I've wanted the most, because I just... I don't know, I just love this one. And that is... Bride of Valentine as the Tin Man. Now, how awesome is this? Look at that. Okay? Reminds me of Andy Warhol. <laughs> who's one of my artists I used to love. But anyway, look, it's got like bolts in the eyes, or are they screws, I don't know. But just the outfit's awesome. Oh, and of course, Tin Man's bloody hatchet. So yeah, I figure my favorite one is the one that I'm not going to talk about, really. But look at those pants. Like, this is like you know, someone could even make it into like a Bowie doll, a David Bowie doll or something. But yeah, so that's why I really like this one. It's different, and I love the outfit. They're very different. And then just look at the sides of, of the eyes. Awesome. So yeah, that's why this one is my favorite of the Lost in Oz dolls. So there you go. I managed to do it in around the same amount of time that I would do just one doll because I'm not blathering on about every little freaking thing. Now I just got to find a way to stop this video because my thing is all screwed up. But yeah, so there's the Lost in Oz dolls show and tell. I hope you enjoyed and they're still available in stores so you can probably find them somewhere if you like them. And if not, then thanks for watching anyway. So that's about it. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe, please do. I do appreciate new subscribers to my channel. And I hope you're all having a great day. And if I only had a brain, then I don't know what I'd do. There's lots of things i do, but I do have a brain, damn it. But I'm going to try and use that brain to figure out how to stop this fucking video. Okay? And I swore, don't show this to your kids. <laughs> Bye, guys.